Uh, like uh, 
taps it is very difficult because we have already punctured the cable. It is very difficult to detect error in connection. Then a single failure in backbone may lead to the halt of the whole system. So you have seen in the previous slide that if you uh, disconnect or if you uh, do any kind of disturbance in on the backbone, the whole system will uh, halt. Okay, because there is no other way. So sometimes tapping, sometimes tapping creates reflection, uh, which degrades the quality of the signals. So addition of new computers may lead to the modification or replacement of the backbone cable. Because you have already punctured the cable, so it is very difficult to put, uh, like to shift these punctures. So you need to replace the whole backbone cable. So let us go to the next slide. Here we will discuss about the star topology. So in the star topology, computers are connected to a central node. Uh, there one hub is used, a networking device called hub is used. A hub is capable of connecting different con computers. So there is a central node and uh, different computers are connected to this central node. Okay, or uh, this central node is also called controller or uh, this device is hub. So different computers exchange data with the help of a hub. So if you want to connect n number of computers using star topology, n minus 1 number of communication, uh, at least this is not n minus 1, n number of communication links are required. So you can rectify this place. This is n number of communication links are required because if you have n computers, so how many wires will be required to connect it to the, connect these computers to the central hub? You need n number of wires. For 3 computers you need 3 wires, for 4 computers you need 4 wires and so on. So you can see this is clear in this picture. So let us move to the next slide. Now there are various advantages and disadvantages of using start topology. So let us start with the advantages. So they are uh, like you can see in that US that computers can be connected using very less number of wires in start topology because if you have 5 computers you need only 5 pieces of wire. We have 6 computers, 6 pieces of wire. So very less number of wires are required. A single wire is sufficient to add one additional computer in the network. If you want to scale up the uh, network, you need just a single wire. And one single port is required to add another computer. So if one computer in the network fails, the whole network remains active because only that computer will go down, other will remain active. But that is not the case with bus. You had already seen. In bus, the scenario is totally different. One uh, communication failure in the backbone will hold the whole system. So in case of start topology, the uh, fault detection is very easy because you, uh, if some computer is down, you know that uh, the uh, wire that is connecting uh, that specific computer that is down is problematic. So you can replace that wire. So uh, these are some advantages of using start topology. Now let us discuss the disadvantages of using start topology. So a single failure in the hub, if there is some fail failure in the hub, it will hold the whole system, but that was not the case of uh, like uh, bus topology. Uh, so extra cabling is required as all computers are connected to the central hub. So for each computer, you need one single cable. So that is for another disadvantage of start topology. So uh, this is all about start topology. Now we will move to another topology that is called ring topology. So in ring topology, the computers are connected using a dedicated point to point link with the computers next to it on either side. So you can see here in this picture that there is a ring, okay, uh, and now different computers are connected to this ring okay, using uh, different pieces of, using some pieces of wires. So all the computers are connected using a closed loop here and data travels only in a single direction along the loop until it reaches the destination. Suppose one computer transmits a data, the data starts circumnavigating the ring and uh, the, that way it reaches to the destination. So 
this is this way the ring topology works now let us move to the next slide to see its advantages and disadvantages so advantages computers can be easily connected and can re reconfigured in a ring topology addition or removal of computers in ring topology is very simple and the disadvantages of ring topology is a single failure in the ring holds the whole system the size of the ring is fixed so uh, in uh, so uh, let us revise like uh, you so um, um, there is a single ring that connects all the computers so uh, there is no problem of connecting new computers okay in this ring wherever you like you can connect computers so that is one very important advantage of using ring topology addition or removal of computers in ring topology very simple that as i told you because of the structure because in any place of the ring you can add a computer but if there is a single failure in the ring it will hold the whole system this is a very big disadvantage of using this type of topology and uh, size of the ring is fixed if you want to increase the size of the ring then you have to replace the whole ring so that is one very uh, in, uh, like a uh, bad thing of it like uh, is advantage of it you can say so now <coughs> let us move to the next slide where we will discuss about the mesh topology so mesh topology uh, in mesh topology all the computers are completely interconnected now you can see in the picture that there are five computers and uh, each computer is connecting directly to another computer that means from each computer you have paths to all the four four other computers okay so that is the thing so uh, in mesh topology all the computers are completely interconnected to all the other computers in the network using a dedicated point to point link so to connect n number of computers using a start topology you need n into n minus 1 numbers of communication links let us take one example here in this example we have five computers five number of computers so five computers are connected using 10 links how it was calculated 5 into 5 minus 1 by 2 that means 20 by 2 which is 10 so now you can count here so there are 10 number of communication links that are interconnecting completely interconnected all the computers if you had three links then 3 into 3 minus 1 by 2 that means uh, 3 on three links only okay similarly if you had four links 4 into 4 minus 1 by 2 uh, so um, how many 6 6 are there in case of four so that way you can calculate the number of links in mesh topology so let us move to the next slide let us discuss advantages and disadvantages of using mesh topology so any two computers in the network have a fixed dedicated link so there is no problem of traffic in network for the exchange of data so you can see in the picture uh, what you had seen in the picture from each computer you can go to any other computer directly or by following different lines if there is a failure in the direct uh, communication then you can follow an alter alternative line if there is a problem in the alternative line you can follow another alternative line so there are different options from uh, for going to another computer or sending a message to another computer so there is no problem of traffic okay uh, in the network for the exchange of data so but there is a problem a single link failure does not no this is not a problem actually the, this is a advantage i told you know there are various paths so this is not a problem this is an advantage if the single uh, link failure occurs it will not hold the network because there are alternate ways i already told you so mesh topology is robust it provides you a robust topology or a robust len so links are not shared therefore data communication is secure and all, all these links are not shared also so data communication is very much secure okay in mesh topology 
fault detection is very simple with the help of the dedicated link in mesh topology. So where there is a fault, you can easily find out because all the computers are interconnected completely. Okay. So now there are some disadvantages also using mesh topology. You have some disadvantages also. The uh, number one, each computer is connected with every other computer in the network. Therefore, installation and configuration of network is very difficult because you have many communication links. Okay. Each computer is connected to other computers by a link. So, if you want to install, then it becomes very difficult in installation and configuration. So, as we are discussing the disadvantages of using mesh topology, so I told you already that uh, each computer is connected to every other computer in the network. So, in that case, uh, the installation and configuration of the network will be very difficult in mesh topology. Installation cost is very high because number of dedicated links required is very high. Addition of a single node requires additional n links. Suppose you, there are 5 computers, you want to uh, install uh, another uh, line, so there are how many links? 10 links. Now you want to install a 6th computer. So what will happen then you have to connect that the that six computer with every other computers present in the network. That means you have five more links here. Okay. So if we have six, six into five minus uh, six into uh, six minus one, that is five divided by two, thirty by two, that is fifteen links. That means we have to add another five links here. So you can calculate and find out. If you have seven, uh, seventh computer, if you add seven computer, then again number of links will be increased. Okay, seven more wires you need. So this will, if you keep on increasing the size of the network, this type of uh, thing will go on. For each single <coughs> addition of each single node, you require many wires. Okay, so costing becomes very high. Okay, so most of the time links remain idle. So channel utilization is very so yeah, there are many alternative paths, many links here. So each time, like uh, because uh, suppose proper, you need to transfer data from one point to another point. So for that only a single path is needed. If that is not there, then you can go to alternate path. But here, here you have ample amount of power and ample number of paths. So, so most of the paths are unutilized most of the time. So that is a big disadvantage of using mesh topology. But uh, one thing I want to tell you regarding mesh topology is that is not written over here. So if uh, like uh, because if geographical constraint, uh, if because of some geographical constraint, we need to establish a special kind of topology. So here mesh topology can be used like where there are some problems with geographical constraints. Okay. Now let us move to the next slide. Here we will discuss a tree topology. Like the tree topology, um, in tree topology, the computers are connected like start topology. Okay, but the only difference in tree topology is that there are more than one hubs. Okay, in start topology, what was there? There was a there was only a central hub, this central device that was connecting all the computers. But in case of tree topology, okay. You can go beyond that condition. You can uh, you can have more central hubs, more hubs. Okay, you can form a tree out of that. But see, the basic thing is same. Like uh, here, instead of two more nodes, we, we have added two more secondary hubs. Okay, and these secondary hubs are again forming, again connecting other computers. So it uh, takes the structure of a tree. So in tree topology. The computers are connected like start topology, but the only difference is that there are more than one hubs forming different levels. Okay, so here in this picture you have a central hub, then two secondary hubs. Okay, a central hub is forming a star, then again secondary hubs are forming their own stars. So it will according to your requirement you can yeah, enhance or uh, enhance or extend the uh, tree topology, tree, tree uh, like length. So some computers and secondary hubs are connected to central hub forming the root of the tree. Root of the tree is the cent, uh, like uh, central hub, the hubs at the next level are connected to other computers. And 
hops at the further levels. So uh, now I think you understood this topology. To connect n number of computers in a hub, n minus one number of communication links are required in case of a tree topology. So let us move to the next slide. Now we will go through some advantages and disadvantages of using tree topology. So let us go through the advantages. So computers can be connected using very less number of wires in tree topology. It will be tree topology, not stack topology. A single wire is sufficient to add one additional computer in the network. It is not like uh, that mesh topology. It is not like uh, mesh topology where for adding an additional load, okay, you need uh, different or like many number of wires. Okay, so a single wire is sufficient here to add one additional computer in the network. So one single port is required to add a computer here. Okay, same is the case with port port. If one computer in the network fails, the whole network remains active. So this is one advantage. In mesh topology, in uh, tree topology, fault detection is very easy, and uh, you can expand the network by make add, by adding additional hubs. This is one advantage of tree topology. So one more advantage is less cabling is required due to installation of secondary hubs. Because the secondary hubs can be installed locally and single wire can be used to connect to secondary hub. Now disadvantages of using tree topology. A single failure in the hubs for the whole system. This is one disadvantage of using tree topology. Let us move to the next slide. There is another topology that is called hybrid topology. Now because of some geographical constraints, we may need to form uh, a network having different types of topologies and that is called hybrid topology. So we can form a network inside a room, we can uh, for forming a network inside a room, you can uh, use stack topology and to interconnect many such rooms located geographically, uh, geographically apart you can use mesh topology. So two topologies you are using here, one is free, another is mesh topology, okay. One inside a room that is star and one outside the room connecting different LAN that is mesh topology. Okay. So uh, this is all about hybrid topology and all about the topology. So I think you understood this class. Okay. Here we had discussed about different types of topologies. That means the different types of ways okay, uh, using which we can connect different computers. Okay. The uh, like. Um, because to connect different computers, you have to follow some protocols. What is that protocol? The protocol is to uh, what type of uh, like uh, connections, what type of uh, organization of the network will be there, that type of things you have to follow. The way these computers are connected, that is topology actually. <coughs> so we have discussed many topologies here, their advantages and disadvantages. Okay. So, uh, uh, in which situ situation, what type of topology you have to use? All these uh, things we have discussed in this chapter. So, I think uh, this chapter is clear to you. And uh, um, one more thing I want to add here that is, uh, you, have, you might have heard about LAN, MAN, and WAN. So, let us talk about LAN when, uh, like, uh, you are going to establish a, establish a LAN. So, first thing you have to keep in your mind is to uh, is uh, what type of topology I, I will use to connect the computers in the LAN. Okay. So here you have the application of topology. So I think you understood uh, these things clearly. So uh, I will be giving you some exercises. So you will be able to solve those exercises if you have understood this class clearly. Okay. So if you have any doubt, you can make us the doubts. So for uh, today, thank you very much. Uh, we will discuss protocols in our next class. So, thank you very much for today.